Hello from Panhandler Incorporated, where HVAC comfort, efficiency, and indoor air quality get done. This short video will show you how to recover the operation of an ECM motor when you experience a control failure. We have not experienced an ECM motor failure since we introduced the ECM modulator in October of 2009. It's now June 11th, 2014. The last control failure we've had was about four months ago. That control was shipped in 2011. It was still under the five-year warranty. This method of temporary ECM motor operation was tested by us on motors that we program. Do not use this on other ECM motors. You'll need three parts. First is a 9-volt battery. Second, a 9-volt battery clip. Third is two small wire nuts. Next, remove the communication cable from the ECM modulator control. Next, you cut the communication cable and strip the ends of the two wires. Finally, you wire nut the red wire on the 9 volt clip to the red wire on the ECM modulator cable and the black to the black. close to full speed for about a week on one 9-volt battery. So you don't have to make a temporary PSC motor chain before you can get help. You're not playing with kids. This is Fan Handler Incorporated, where the quality contractor is king.